So when I was editing my video last night, I noticed that I have an extremely big problem with not looking into the lens. So to solve that problem, I could either look in the lens or start wearing glasses. I think I'm gonna take the easy way out. For one, I just look much cooler like this than with my glasses off. So anyways, I got a package from Riverside yesterday, so I wanna see what it has, what kind of goodies it has in it, really quick. So right here, I have the Root Industry Honeycore wheels. So let's open these up. Ooh, these wheels are insanely light. So I got some wheels, some, another pair of Root Honeycore wheels, same exact color, so I'm just gonna keep these ones in the box. Some scissors to cut grip tape with. Oh yeah, that'll cut me. Some bearings, just a nice little care package from Riverside, you know. River flash floods, load of bullseyes. These, these might be the best bearings you could ever buy. These are 10 bucks for a whole pack of eight, I believe it's like 20. And these are sealed on both sides, so they're extremely strong. ABEC nines, so they're really good. 10 bucks. Check out this one. This one, you guys, I know you guys are gonna like this one. See? But wait, there's more. Oil slick. Oil slick. Oil slick. I think that's all of it. Purple. Sunday headset. It's in black. More headsets. This is the black one. Black Envy headset as well. Thick headset. So, the coolest thing about this Ethic headset is that you open it up, it just look like a normal headset cap, right? Wrong. It's squishy. It's so cool. I got an MD Black Double Clamp. It's just a uh, port. Let's get into the video. Okay, so I was originally wearing these sunglasses because I just want to look cool. And now it has become like an essential because there's a sun glaring. Like, look at this. That's my eyes. I got super busy, so I didn't get to film what I wanted to say. If you guys come to Scooter Zone ever to say hi to me, Make sure to go to Papa's Pizza. It's like right in the same shopping center. They make the bombest pizza. So today's video, I think I'm gonna hydro dip. Why am I gonna hydro dip? You just got a new deck, Steven. Why do you wanna hydro dip it? I'm not gonna hydro dip it. I wanna hydro dip a different deck. I think I'm gonna hydro dip the Pandemonium again. I wanna ride the Pandemonium again just because I wanted to try it out again. I, I don't know how I feel about the Elite deck. I love how it feels, it's such a great deck, but I just want to try something else out, and I don't want to use a new deck. So yeah, I'm very picky. Uh, Steven, you suck. Okay, so I got the deck, and now it's time to just rot out and hydro dip. Okay. By the way, this is the mar water marble pandemonium. Okay, so this is how much I did to it, with just like five minutes. Um, the best thing about the paint I used before is that I had a primer, primer and a normal paint. So that way I could, don't have to like raw it all off because it already has a primer on. I'm gonna film the rest of this at my house. So I'll see you guys at my house. Oh. <laughs> challenging each other how many apple chips or apple straws we could get in. He got 29. I only got 10. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so now I'm back at home and I'm going to spray the deck. I'm first going to spray a little bit of white on it just so it's nice and it has like the white coat so it's not just going to be instantly white. That didn't make any sense. I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right, so I'm first gonna take this deck. I'm gonna spray it with, use some old ass heat resistant paint. So it doesn't really matter. While this is drying, I'm gonna start setting my base coat. I don't think these gloves fit. Front of the head tube, just a little bit more white. Mm 
I'll finish the rest tomorrow morning. Okay, so this is what the deck looks like right now. This has to be the worst hedge dipping job I've ever done. But I'm gonna fix it. Okay, so I got most of it off. But now, you gotta find out what paint I wanna use. Okay, by the way, don't mind this. It's St. Patrick's Day, so I gotta, I gotta wear the green. Bad news, we don't have white, so I have to use black. Black, and what else? Red. Red, what else? I have green, blue, and, I don't know. Let's put in black on. That looks kind of cool. It has like Tron lines in it. It's like death in here now. All right, so the deck is dry enough now, but this whole side is kind of white, which I think is a little cool. And this side's straight black. Now it's time to do the paint. So I think I'm gonna do black and black, blue, and red. Black coat, time to put some in the red. The blue. Let's see right there. Oh my gosh. It's so freaking sick. Okay. Tell me this is not the coolest hydro dipping job I've ever done. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh, we in. We are so in. That looks really cool. I'm not messing with that anymore. Time to do the bottom though. Alright, so this is how the deck turned out. I think that looks so sick. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. This thing looks so awesome. Like, I am so proud of myself. And, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, comment down below some new stuff for me to do. And what else I should hydro dip. I'm not going to be putting this deck on quite yet. I'm going to be waiting a little bit longer because I still like the Elite deck. I just want to ride this deck once it's done. And I thought this would look really cool because <laughs> I was bored. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.